So, something I'm noticing as we run around collecting these coins of ancestry, it's really good for a boosted character to do this. Because then you slowly are being granted a, your faction rep for all of the factions. It's a boosted character. You're not going to have these reputations, so you're not going to get the um, faction discounts at your local vendors. So, aside from WoW and Blizzard and Nintendo, how about gaming in general? Destiny players, at the time of the article, have logged over 100,000 years. I hope, I hope I wrote that wrong. The news article itself is in the show notes, so yell at me if I'm wrong. Or just pleasantly. Um, that's impressive. Good job, Destiny. It's one of the games on my to-get list when have a PS4. So, I look forward to it. Then I can cross-play with the Vita. That's why I'm not grabbing it now for the PS3. The Vita is important to me. So we're going off to an instance... Um... Elder, it looks like. Off in... Stratholm. Poor Stratholm. Look at that. It still burns. Oh, you stupid dragon. Just let me in. I want to see it from the sky. Poor Stratholm. Flaming Stratholm. Alright, fine. I'll land slow fall. PlayStation Now pricing was announced. So, just like my beef with um, Here's the Storm. PlayStation Now is way overpriced. You just don't get value for what they're offering. It's not like, say... Um, well, anything else, really? Hi, guys, get out of my way. That's more efficient. I'm trying to figure out the uh, most efficient way to just blast my way through these peons. Fine. Die. Where is it? Okay. Hang a right. Wow. This is really nice. I'm going to have to remember this handy notes thing. Use it for, um, fire festival. Uh-huh. The skeletons are suddenly dead. I mean, I'm a mage. You're soloing this place. Of course, I'm level 90. But PlayStation Now pricing is just way out there. Netflix gives you so much, and you're paying so much less. So it just doesn't make any sense. Yet again. It just doesn't make any sense. Uh, Windows 10 is going to be free when it finally releases. That's pretty cool, actually, that they're doing that. Extremely surprising, too, honestly. I can't cast that yet. That spell is but, good for you, Microsoft. I guess they're just hoping more people are going to buy into, say, um, oh, what is it? The Windows 10 phone platform? Just I still don't see it, but whose balance are weird. Did things change 
Yeah, there's the gauntlet. That's what gives you the mount, potentially. So it looks like we're out of... Hey, leave me alone. Oh, well. So let's pop back out and go to... Hmm. We'll go to Ogrimmar. I don't really want to suffer through Undercity again. There is a new Dungeons and Dragons game coming where you actually have a dungeon master who can run your players through. I love the concept. I am excited for the concept. I really hope licensing isn't a pain in the butt because if it's through something like Steam, it's going to be epic and awesome. Everybody's on Steam. They sync up and go, hey, do you want to host some scenario? Or, hey, I've written this scenario. Why don't you come by and we'll do it? Just something along that line should go a lot better than it trying to be some independent platform item. And that's it for the FlameFlash.net gaming news. So, neat. Okay, Razor Hill. Cool. We'll fly to Razor Hill. Glad we're by a flight point, aren't we? Where's my flight point? Hi, flight point. No. You're the flying trainer. You're the flight point. What do you need? I want to go to Razor Hill. Okay. Ant-Man teaser trailer is out there. Uh, Netflix is set to air Daredevil April 10th. Marvel everywhere. There's a new Avengers trailer out. Uh, Sony is allowing Spider-Man to join the Marvel Universe. Squee! Poor Andrew Garfield. <laughs> um, DC is ending the new 52. I have mixed feelings about that because I was going to actually try to follow this block and it got too expensive. Just far too many items. 52 darn comics for crying out loud. 52 different storylines. It, it was overwhelming. I remember you. You were a pain in the butt alliance side to get. There you are, just handing it to me when I land, you jerk. Ashara... Oh, of course. I should have done that one before leaving. Mm. We'll go south first. Ratchet it is. Friend. I... Friend. For the horde. Yes, for the horde. Oh, nice. F Thank you, Flight Point. Take me back to Ogremar before going to Ratchet, even though Ratchet's much closer. Oh well. Uh, Samsung TVs gain the overpriced PlayStation now. Select Samsung TVs. Uh, Sony, back when the interview was leaked, um, was threatening Twitter, for of all places, over sharing all the link hacks. It's like, guys, we're just sharing information here. The news are news people are sharing information. That's it. That's what Twitter does. Deal with it. Learn the internet. Uh, please, everyone. North Korea didn't hack Sony. At least not directly. Maybe they hired somebody to do it. But um, there hasn't been any very good evidence linking and I notice now it's kind of fallen by the wayside news story wise so yeah 
clearly a non-issue that they just wanted to drum up for some reason. New York Times um, calling uh, called for the Bush administration to be prosecuted for torture. Waterboarding bad. Seems like it's a little late for that, but I guess if the statute of limitations isn't up, go ahead. Good luck to you guys. Uh, Mall of America and the city of whatever city is around Mall of America. This is kind of funny. I believe I reported it on episode 139. Uh, they're seeking funds for the damages from the protests that were organized. It's like, you guys are the ones that decided to close the stupid floor on a super busy shopping day because of peaceful protesters. You allowed other organizations and other groups to gather on the mall and do their hoopla peacefully and move on so why not this group but good luck identifying some mass evil organizer overlord again learn the internet it's not just one person anymore leading these causes it's just not so learn to internet mall of america Learn to internet. Uh, there was another Missouri officer involved shooting. I'm sure there have been quite a few since the last time we had a podcast. Hey, 10 coins of ancestry. I could buy both of the patterns now. That is awesome. And handy notes is awesome. And we're almost through the show notes. So that's also awesome. Does Crossroads have a flight point? Like I said, I am a horde noob, so I don't know. Hey, Mr. Flight Point Guy, get out of my way, pet. Crossroads has a flight point. Perfect. Um, Comcast has been nicely bribing Republican senators and House representatives because... Um, well, they don't want net neutrality. If you read anything that says they do, they don't. So just keep watching for net neutrality. Near the end of this month, the FCC is expected to announce that it's putting net neutrality as a utility. Or er, the internet as a utility. So will have won. That's pretty awesome. The FCC is also looking at uh, having Comcast merger public comments. So go forth, complain, yell please no, just like you did for n the need for net neutrality. Let's let's make that hap not happen too. Okay? Why is there a night elf elder in a horde camp? I don't get it. Okay, where's the next closest? Southern Barrens or Moldor? Let's go... Vendetta Point, Southern Barrens. Sounds good to me. Um, now on the news, the world of news will be continued in the final section of the FlameFlash.net podcast special I'm Not Dead Yet, episode 140. We'll be right back.